Hey guys, Neil here, and today I have something a little different for you. It's a Skyrim video, but it's a little um, glitch. It's a pretty big glitch, actually, and I'm going to show you how to reap the rewards all day. And, um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, I'm probably not going to be releasing any more uh, Skyrim Let's Plays just because it doesn't sound like anybody's interested. If you are, if you really want to see it, I'll make them, but uh, at the moment, I'm going to be, I'm not going to be doing any more of those, but what you're going to want to do, sorry, um, when you come into White Run, you're going to immediately go to the right into this little hallway and take the first right, and you're going to want to jump on this barrel. And you want to be on it just as far on the right, you're going to look at this wall, and you're going to want to be all the way on the edge without falling down. You're going to look up at this wall, and you're going to try to jump up on it. It may take a few times. It's going to take me a few times. But you're going to, we're going to try to get out of the wall. Whoop, I keep jumping. I'm not getting a high enough jump because I keep hitting this wall. That's a big key is to not do that. See, I made it, and then what you're going to do is crouch and fall through the wall. It's pretty easy. If that doesn't happen, then you just walk across and fall through the other side. You just got to balance. And as you can see, as I'm sprinting through here, I have um, another glitch. This is one of my more souped-up characters that I could show you some stats, that I will show you some stats on. That um, I know a glitch... It's a glitch to get um, pretty much any stat you want up, and um, yeah, it's it's like unlimited enchanting pretty much, or unlimited level of enchanting. It's pretty cool. So this way, you're gonna run around to the side of the, uh, around White Run. You're gonna kind of hug the wall. You're gonna run past this little building. Uh, I don't know what it is because there's no doors on it. There's a house right there, but that house disappears once you get close to it, so it's weird. So you just run up over here, kind of hug the wall. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Get up here. We got the wall there. You gotta be careful not to fall in into the, into the crevices at all. And you're gonna come here, and when you're walking up, you're gonna see this big abyss right here, and you're gonna just walk up and avoid it completely. And you're gonna come around it, and you're gonna come like this, go up against the wall, and you're gonna jump for this ledge. You don't want to fall in there. It's not a hard jump to make, but you just go jump it. You got it cleared. Now you can see that back. You're gonna walk up against the wall. You're gonna be pushing against the wall, and you're gonna literally just walk into this crack and go into the wall. And look, you got a chest here. I showed this in the la end of my last video, but not many people watched that far. I know I don't know if anybody did. But what you're going to do is you're going to go up to this chest. Before you even go near that guy, you're going to go up to this chest, and you're going to search it. I might have already raided it. I can't tell. I can't remember the last time I went over here. But you have, I'm going to take all the gold, and let's see, I have plenty of weight. So I'm going to take all the ore. I would just take everything. Actually, yeah, to prove a point, I'm going to take all. The chest is empty now. You see that? Okay, now you're going to go to this guy, and he has to be on this wheel. If he's not on this wheel, you just need to wait an hour at a time until he just he's, he's about to sit on or, he, or he's sitting on it. You're going to jump up here and try to talk to him. You want to talk to his foot. Once you got him talk to him, you go, what do you have for sale? And it'll show you his inventory. It'll show you everything he has. You see he has all this stuff, and he's got, as you can see, 2,100 gold. So now, after you've looked into his inventory, or you looked at his, what he's got for sale, you go back to the chest, and you can see it's not empty anymore. And he has all this stuff. I'm not going to take everything again, but I'm going to take some of the iron and all the leather and stuff. Um, just to, Actually, I will take it all just to prove another point. So now that it's empty again, what you're going to do here is you're going to go... Now what you're going to do is you're going to be looking at this guy, make sure he's in the chair. You're going to go and save the game. You're going to save it. Gonna do a new save. I want to save it over my old one because um, I've done this too many times and I don't want all that junk in my inventory. But now you're gonna go up and you're gonna kill the guy. You can't kill him technically because he's um, an important character on one of the quests, but you can damage him enough to where all his health goes away and he falls down and does that weird thing. Now we're gonna do kill him. See how all his health gone. Now that he's He's technically dead. I don't know. It's a weird thing. It just renders that way. He will get back up. But now you're just going to go back, load that exact same save that you just did, just made. You load it. This could take a minute or two. And yeah, the chest will be empty when you load it. But you don't want to really. You don't want to go look at the chest. You want to talk to him immediately. Should take a second. I would skip this, but I just want to. I want to prove that I'm not cutting it out, doing anything else, to do the whole thing. So here it is. Dang it, he got up. See, when he gets up, he has to be in this chair. You can't jump up and talk to him. 
I'm going to wait an hour. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Walk towards it. Oh, so he's walking towards it. Wait till he's in it. He can try to jump up and talk to him, but it's not really possible unless he's in the chair. You see, what do you got for sale? And now he's got 2100 again. And you're going to go back to the chest. And he's got this ore. Look at it. He's got 2100 gold you can take. And the ore. He's got everything. Now if you go talk to him again, he's um, he won't have it this time. Now you talk to him and he doesn't have anything. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's still got some stuff. But this is the stuff that he's actually got in his inventory, like in his pockets and stuff. But that won't be in the chest. The chest is still empty. And if he's still in the chair, you're gonna go back. We can do it one last time just to prove that it'll work every time. Save over that previous save. Looking at him. This is after everything has been taken, and you're gonna reload and talk to him again after you've killed him. You have to kill him. It's a weird glitch in the game. You can do this with any shopkeeper. Say if you want to sell him something, you you'll keep the gold that you sold everything that you sold everything for, but his inventory resets once you kill him. It's a weird glitch in the game. You can do it with anybody. All right, he's dead. Yeah, wait till he falls down. One last load. Just a second. Trying to make it a short video today. Sorry about this, guys. Won't be too much longer. But just to touch bases on the Dion giveaway, we broke 50. We're halfway there. So here we're going to talk to him again. If I can get it. Yeah, you are. I don't care either. Okay, 2100. Sweet. Go back to the chest. Search it. And 2100 gold. My gold just grew. Look how much gold I have. It's not all from doing this, but you can sell all this stuff and things like that. It's pretty sweet. It resets every time. And if you're wondering how to get out of here, um, after you've talked to him, you get up. There's like a weird invisible rock here. You just hug the side of this rock and you just try to get on this land here. You can jump out of the wall. But yeah, that, you can't go back in. You can do that jump and go all the way around again, but that's that. That's the. The glitch to the game, and if this video can get five likes, I will do another um, glitch, sort of. It's a potion glitch. I can show you all the ingredients you're going to need and show you how you can get unlimited powers, and these are what I'm talking about when I say that. Since they added the legendary um, thing where you just skip it, you can get, you can get um, unlimited perks. See, I have 14 perks right now, but you can have unlimited levels. You can get really high. That's how I got my health so high. And my stamina so high, and they have, like, if you see my weapons, my attack is so high on some of these things. It's crazy. Like, you can't even see the damage in the bottom left. It's just such a big number. It's crazy. But if you get too high, it's in the negatives, and I'll, I'll make sure to say that. But it, five likes, and I'll show you how to get all this stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I will talk to you guys later.